Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would do my Bronson, a two year update on it because it's almost been two years now, which seems crazy that I've had this bike that long already. But I thought I would do an update. Do I still love things about it? Are there things I don't like so much about it anymore? And does the bike still stand true to a lot of the things I said beginning videos when I first bought it? So just a little backstory for anyone who might not be familiar with the previous bike I was riding. So I was riding a Giant Stance, which was a full suspension and had 120 mil of travel front and rear and just a short travel bike. So going from the Stance to the Bronson was such a massive difference. So that's what this is kind of looking through is in that kind of lens, the difference is there just from what I was coming from. First things, let's talk about the climbability because this is something that I talked a lot about in previous videos when I first got it and I said it was such a great climber. And now that I've had it for this length of time and I've ridden with other people that have had trail bikes and things like that, and just to be able to see the difference when you're climbing is, there's a, there's a difference, you know? If you're putting me up with someone on a light trail bike compared to the Bronson, it's, there's a difference going on and it's not a fast climber. And I think that's what I want to make clear now is, it can get you up a mountain no problem and I think that's what I was so happy about because I thought this bike was going to be really hard to climb up a mountain on for some reason but it wasn't but it's it's slow it's going to get you up the mountain but it's going to take some time it's in no means going to be this super speedy bike going up it's made to go down and I think that's just the biggest takeaway and thing that I realized with this bike is how much slower I am than everyone else on this bike and I'm not a super fast climber to begin with so having me on this bike I'm just I'm even slower so at the end of the day it's okay because this is something that I could honestly could care less about I'm not trying to break some time record going on the climb up I'm just there for the downhill and just being out and about and having fun so it doesn't really matter to me too much but I thought I would make a note of that the thing that really stands true to this bike is my comfort level with it and how capable this bike is with trails that I'll ride and I've now have had the chance to travel with this bike I got to take it on a lot of my favorite trails in California that I was pre previously riding my stance on and you know other past bikes to really be able to see this huge difference Difference. And with it being a longer travel bike, there's just a little more room for error sometimes. Sometimes I'll take the wrong line and if I was on any other bike, you know, my old stance, I probably would have had major consequences to pay. But with this, you know, it kind of saves you in that aspect. So there's a lot of awesome things like that that I've realized just riding it. But it just eats up everything. It just goes over everything so well. And it's just such an awesome, fun bike to ride on really rough terrain that's where it really shines is going through some of these downhill trails that are just rough and you know you might have a few drops here and there i by no means am pushing this bike to its limit whatsoever but it's still just a really awesome ride now let's talk about the biggest con that i've had with this bike so i bought this bike is a lower spec out bronson because i always knew i wanted to make my own upgrades to this bike um a little later down the road so I also was kind of toying around with the idea of just buying the frame and building my own bike up, but I wanted something that I could go ahead and be riding and having fun on, so that's why I just got the Bronson that I did. So the model that I got is the Bronson Carbon R Plus model. It came stock with the SRAM Eagle NX, and this is something, I've even spoken to people, many people, even to you guys about this previously, you know, when I first got the bike about a lot of the issues that I was having with the group set, specifically with the derailleur. This derailleur has been a thorn in my side. And after this amount of time, I've realized I really think I had a faulty derailleur and it was just, it was defective. And I should have reached out to SRAM to get a replacement because it was just an absolute nightmare to deal with this derailleur. My derailleur would be out of tune after every single ride I would do. And I'm not talking about, oh, I just need to make minor little tweaks. I'm talking about I would lose like you know, two or three gears after a ride, completely useless. You know, it would either be my lower gears or my higher gears. It just depended. I, mean, I know some of you guys are probably going to say, but yeah, but maybe you adjusted the B screw. Like, listen, I have taken this bike to get professionally tuned. I, you know, and even people had commented, you know, bike mechanics saying, this is a really hard derailleur to tune. It does not want to stay in tune. This derailleur made me good at tuning a derailleur because of the situation and I can tune it pretty good now at this point. But so that was a huge, huge headache 
that I dealt with for a good while. And at the end of last summer, I finally just said, screw it, I've had enough with this. And I just took off all those parts, took off the whole entire group set and I will make a video soon showing you guys what I upgraded with because you're probably like, whoa, Morgan really got irritated with the NX and just really went off, but I did. And so I'm really, really happy with the upgrades I made, so I'll have to do a video on it, but anyways, but just with what came stock with the bike, that was one thing that I just, it left a really bad taste in my mouth and I know NX, no one has had issues with NX, it was just me and I'm sure NX is great for other people and works beautifully, but it just left, it just left a bad taste in my mouth and it was a terrible experience. So that's something that is no longer on my bike. In terms of the suspension, really I haven't had any issues with the suspension. It's been pretty good for my needs. So one thing that I've been struggling with is really getting the suspension dialed in. I have the RockShox Yare fork on there and it's been a great suspension. And then in the rear, I have the RockShox Super Deluxe, which is also, I, have, I haven't had any issues really, but the front I've had just, Issues kind of getting it perfectly dialed in. I still have not found that sweet spot. And I've had my rebound so slow that people have made comments, you know, especially when I've taken my bike to the shop, they're like, what, why, why, why do you have it so slow? And I'm like, because if I adjust the rebound to really fast, it's just so aggressive and harsh that I, I don't like it at all. And I have adjusted to the air pressure and everything except for my weight, so, it's something that I'm still messing around with and probably just need to play around with more, but it's been a little bit of a struggle there, but can't complain. Slowing down the rebound has honestly worked for me, so that's how I currently run my bike. I know it's probably not right, but that's just what we've been doing and what's been working. My biggest concern was the rear shock not being able to lock that out. I really would love the ability to lock that out, and I think that comes with, I forget the one above this one, um, if it's like the RockShox Super Deluxe Plus or something like that, that has that so you can lock it out. I will say with this Bronson with the VPP, there's hardly any pedal bob whatsoever, but I, it kind of just makes me wonder still if I would be a little more efficient maybe when I'm climbing up over rocks and roots and things like that, if it would be a little more efficient if I was able to lock that out. I may never know, but you know, it's not a big deal whatsoever. Um, just something I'm just, Kind of curious about i guess anyways that is about it for my two-year update with my bronson it's still very much so my dream bike i love this bike so much it's just a blast to ride like i said i will do a video soon showing you guys all the upgrades i've done to my bronson because i have done quite a few huge upgrades to it now um that i've shown here and there on instagram but i haven't made a video on it so that will be up next so watch out for that maybe in two or three weeks or something like that, I'll post one. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are getting a new bike for this season and what it is. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.